Like I say, it was, it was beautiful around here. So I bought the little house on the block, which was this one here. Terry thought that he found the perfect location to make his home in the Nokomis neighborhood in Minneapolis. I've been here for 40 years. The only bill I have are my taxes, which are twice what my entire payment was, principal interest and taxes were when I purchased it. The property taxes in his neighborhood and across the state have been steadily rising, ironically because of the no new taxes policy. The primary factors driving Minnesota deeper into tax regressivity is the fact that we are relying less on progressive income taxes, which are more based on the ability to pay, and relying more on regressive property taxes, which fall disproportionately on lower, low and middle income folks. Minnesota 2020's latest report found that state and local taxes are becoming more regressive. And when it comes to property taxes, we're slipping faster than most states. Since 2000, we've gone from an average level to one of the most regressive property tax states. First of all, increased regressivity is bad for the economy because you're taking dollars from the pockets of those households that tend to spend a larger share of their income and thereby provide the most bang for the buck in terms of economic stimulus. This isn't socialism, it's, as we say in the report, it's simple tax fairness. 